Isotopes practice number one on canvas. This is task 10. So they've given us two models of sodium, two isotopes of sodium. Um, notice that one has a mass of 23. It has 12 neutrons. The other has a mass of 24. It has 13 neutrons. And everything else is the same. 11 protons, atomic number of 11, 11 electrons. Atomic number 11, 11 protons, 11 electrons. All of that's the same. So the big difference is the mass number and the number of neutrons. So what information is provided by the atomic number 11? Well, it doesn't matter what the atomic number is. The atomic number always tells us the number of protons. So if the atomic number is 11, then we have 11 protons. What information is provided by the mass number 23 or 24? Again, doesn't really matter what the mass number is, but it tells us the number of neutrons. 23, if the mass is 23 and it has 11 protons, 23 minus 11 is 12 neutrons. If the mass is 24, 24 minus 11 is 13 neutrons. What do the two sodium isotopes shown in the model have in common with each other? Well, we just talked about that. So that's going to be the atomic number. The protons are the same. The electrons are the same. And they're both sodium. They're both the same element. So that's going to be atomic number, protons, electrons, and the element name. Those are all the same. How do the two sodium isotopes differ? So again, that's going to be the mass numbers are different and the number of neutrons are different. So mass number and neutrons. Are they neutral and how do you know? Well, remember, protons are positive, neutrons are neutral, electrons are negative. So, we have 11 positives and 11 negatives. So, yes, they're going to be neutral. Same here, 11 positives, 11 negatives. They're going to cancel out and it will be neutral. So, our answer is yes. And how do we know? that we know that there are the number of protons equals the number of electrons. Okay, so there are 11 positives and 11 negatives, and what that does is it cancels each other out. There we go. Okay. What distinguishes an atom of one element from an atom of another element? That's going to be the number of protons in the nucleus. So each element um, has a unique number of protons. That's the atomic number. Describe the similarities and differences between these two atoms of chlorine. Um, and our answers are going to be very similar to what we wrote for um, numbers three and four. Excuse me. So they're, they both have Cl. So that means they're both chlorine. They're the same element. Um, we can see the number 17 is the same. So the 17 um, in the shorthand, the bottom number is the atomic number. So they have the same atomic number. And if they have the same atomic number, that means they're also going to have the same number of protons and electrons. So let's go ahead and write all that down. So the same is the element name. They're both chlorine. Um, the atomic number is 17 for both. So that means the protons are 17 and the electrons are 17. So all of that stuff is the same. And what's different? OK, 
Okay, you can see the top number is different, so that's the mass number. And as we know, if the mass number is different, then the number of neutrons is also going to be different. And I didn't ask this, but just for fun, um, let's figure out the number of neutrons for each of these. So to figure out the neutrons, we need to do the mass minus the protons. So 35 minus 17. This one's going to have 18 neutrons. And for the next one, 37 minus 17, this one's going to have 20 neutrons. And one more question I didn't ask, but we're going to answer anyway, is are these two atoms isotopes? And that answer is yes, they are isotopes. They are the same element, but they have different masses. So they are isotopes. Okay, and then the last question for this task, write the atomic symbols or the chemist shorthand for the three isotopes of oxygen, one with eight neutrons, one with nine neutrons, and one with 10 neutrons. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write the symbol for oxygen. The symbol for oxygen is O. So I'm going to write three O's down there. We need to look up the atomic number for oxygen. Oxygen has an atomic number of eight. So the number eight is going to be the bottom number. For each of these, remember the atomic number goes on the bottom. And now we can do our last step, which is figuring out the mass number. So to get the mass number, we need to do protons plus neutrons. So we're going to do atomic number plus neutrons. We're going to do 8 plus 8 is 16 for the first one. 8 plus 9 is 17. And 8 plus 10 is 18. So there you go. There's our isotope practice number 